Hey guys, it's Alad guys. Today we are going to watch how did each US state get its name. So I never had this question in my mind. I thought that okay, it would be something like okay, people of that place used to call it because if we consider India, so in India there were a lot of princely states. I I think so. You all might have read somewhat about India. So India had all those princely states, even though India was ruled by Britishers, uh, but still India had a lot of princely states, and each and every state had some or the other. autonomous powers and they were called different different names like the chennai or or the tamil nadu that you see were all part of a big state called madras so uh, it is not the same at this point of time and it now there are about three or four states uh, in that capacity and also like the uh, west bengal and the east bengal that is now bangladesh a different country used to be all called bengal only and then delhi haryana and a lot of part of haryana was only known as delhi and then haryana and punjab were punjab so india also had many of these things but yes after independence we saw that there were many many bifurcations done so so that this uh, the states could develop even more and also their name change were also done like previously mumbai used to be called bombay so because i don't know why it used to be called that but yes we changed it to this and so there are many things we changed so let's see how us state get its name same i also didn't get this thought but yes if we talk about the india so before the partition the name of the even the name of the india was hindustan and after the separation and it was the even the pakistan and bangladesh was also the part of the hindustan also but uh, after the separation uh, it got the name as india bharat and if we talk about the states of the india so basically uh, same firstly in the in the british era if we talk about the calcutta so uh, now uh, now we the name of the uh, Col- uh, calcutta is kolkata but in, if we talk about the british history so in the british history the name of the kolkata was calcutta uh, the spelling was c a l c u t t a and same was with the bombay and even if we talk and the uh, uh, even the himachal was also the part of the punjab and haryana was also the part of the punjab so there was there were no stay like Well, Himachal Pradesh or the Haryana, but there was the separation, and after that, the ne uh, it got uh, the there became two states. The uh, first one, the Himachal Pradesh, and the second one is uh, Haryana. So, but yeah, I I didn't get this thought that uh, how US has why uh, why different state has different names in the US and what is the purpose behind the name of it. So yeah, let's watch the video, and this video is going to be very informative. Mm, it will be very interesting to watch. So let's start the video. The United States of America are a federal country. Their territory is therefore divided into 50 states, 48 continental plus Alaska and Hawaii. There's a joke that nobody can successfully name the 50 states in one sitting. Ever since Friends did an episode where Ross went crazy trying to figure it out. In this video. We're not just going to list out the states. 50 states. We're going to understand why each of them has the name that it India does. India has 29 to 30 states. I cannot name them all in one go. State names come from a variety of languages. Okay. 24 derive from indigenous languages of the Americas, the Native American idioms, although sometimes through European adaptations. 22 other state names derive from actual European languages and words, and the six remaining ones have unclear origins, but we'll get to those in a minute. Of the 50 states. 11 are named after an individual person. Of those 11, 7 are named in honor of European monarchs. The oh. two Carolinas, the two Virginias, Maryland, Louisiana, and Georgia. Over oh. the years, several attempts have been made to name a state after one of the founding fathers or mm. other great statesmen of US history. The mm. state of Franklin, Jefferson, Lincoln, and Washington, with only the last one becoming a state name. Oh, the origin Washington of the names vary Washington. a lot depending on each state, as we'll see now, but <coughs> there is a somewhat common pattern in many of them, having the initial origin in a native tribal group of the region that led to the naming of a local river, then to a colonial territory that shared the name with the river and then transitioning into yeah, state. Yeah, this is how the so name now, thing goes. Let's go one by one and Mostly. understand the known or predicted origin of each state. I posted timestamps in the description by the way, so if you want to skip ahead to a specific state, you can use that. Starting with the two non-contiguous states. Alaska's name comes from a native language. 
Aleut, Aleut, spoken in this chain of islands. They use the word Alasksak, which Alasksak. I'm mispronouncing, to describe the meaning Alasksak. of mainland, or if we literally translate it, the object towards which the action of the sea is directed. Ooh. So the place where the waves hit, I guess. Alaska was first colonized by the Russian Empire, who then sold it to the United States. And this native word, Alaska, the name the empire baptized their colony with in the year 1666. Hawaii's name origin on the other hand is less certain. The first year in which the usage of the name Hawaii is registered was in 1879, with the original spelling having an apostrophe between the I's. The origin is uncertain because there are two hypotheses. One is it coming from Hawaii, meaning place, place of, of the gods, gods, the mythological homeland of the Polynesians, and the other is it being named after Hawailoa, a legendary discoverer of the Hawaiian Islands. Hawaii Moving Lola. to the continental United States, let's start in the west coast with California. California got its name from Spanish explorers, choosing the name Las Californias for the peninsula of Baja California and to Alta California, the region that became the present day state of California. The name likely derived from the mythical island of California in the fictional story of Queen Calafia, oh. as recorded in a book from the year 1510, The okay. Adventures of Esplandian by Garci Rodriguez de Montalvo. In the story, this fictional queen fought alongside Muslim allies, and so, some say, the name may have been chosen by the author to be similar to the title of a Muslim leader, the Caliph. Caliph. In 1846, oh, yes. the US conquered California from Mexico, Caliph. and the Spanish name was kept. California's name is yeah, therefore no, likely to have come from a book. Next to California is Nevada. Also having been named by the Spanish, most of these south slash west states were first part of the Spanish colonial empire, then Mexico, and then finally conquered by the US. The name sort of means snow covered and snow comes covered. from the local mountain range, Sierra Nevada. Then Arizona. The state's Arizona. name appears to originate from Arriba. an earlier Spanish name, Arizonac, which derives from the o Odam name Ali Sonac, meaning small spring. Oh, o Odam Arriba. was a native language. Although some point out that the Basque language spoken in northern Spain also has the phrase Aritz Ona, which means the good oak, the as good there oak. were numerous Basque sheep herders in the area. Aritz but it's Ona. more likely that the origin is the native word. Apparently, there is a misconception that the state's name originated from the Spanish term Arida Zona, meaning arid zone. This is considered a case of folk etymology and is not accurate, but if there is no official record, who knows. Further north is Oregon. The name origin of Oregon is Oregon. disputed and therefore unknown. There are four options, it having Spanish, four native, options? Portuguese, or French origin. The Spanish How? could have named it after the word oregano, Decide referring on to a plant which grows in the southern part of the region, after a stream in Spain oregano, called the Arroyo del Oregon, or after the term orejon, meaning big ear, with the J then turning into a orejon. G. The native origin possibility is evident in a 1765 petition to the British king. Robert Rogers, an American colonial frontiersman, wrote, and from thence the river called by the Indians Oregon. In 1904, the local Sunset magazine argued the name came from a Portuguese explorer who had named it Ove Agua, meaning hearing water. After the sound, the waterfalls hearing made, water. with that name then being adapted to Oragua and then Oregon. People this very one seems cool kind of a stretch, then. to be honest. Or the French possibility, where the name would come from the spelling of a local river as Waricon, although this would likely be an adaptation of the native name we saw in the second option. Above Oregon is the state of Washington. This one is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is look at the flag. It's named after George Washington, after whose surname George was in turn Washington. derived from the town of Washington in the historic county of Durham, England. Oddly, the territory was to be named Columbia after the Columbia River, but they found Columbia. the name too similar to the District of Columbia, the national capital, which itself contains a city named Washington. And so, Washington became the only state named after a U.S. president. Oh, wow. To the east is Idaho. The name was initially Idaho. proposed for the colonial territory of Colorado after I'm a supposed a native term. But when people realized the native term didn't exist, they abandoned the idea. However, it was too late. Years later, it fell into common usage and ended up being proposed for the actual name of wow. the territory. An alternative etymology got... attributes okay, so the name to the Apache also, like, word Idahe, which promoted. means enemy. An Apache term was also used by the Spanish to name mean. Utah. Utah, but with a Y, Utah. from the Apache term Yuda, was the Spanish designation for the local people, which meant high. After becoming part of the US, the term was adapted into English, becoming 
Utah. Back south, meaning New high. Mexico. This one is pretty straightforward too, from the Spanish Nuevo Mexico, meaning the New Mexico. Nuevo In turn, Mexico. the name Mexico comes from the Nahuatl native language, which referred to the Aztec people who founded the city of Tenochtitlan. Colorado was also named by the Spanish Colorado. in 1743. It roughly means colored, but in this case, it meant ruddy or red, originally referring to the Colorado River and its muddy color. Wyoming oh. gets its name from the Wyoming Valley in Pennsylvania, Wyoming. which itself got its name from a Muncie word, another native language. This one, which I'm not even gonna big try to pronounce, it literally meant big river flat. <laughs> Montana is again super straightforward. It means mountain in Hannah Spanish. Montana. Montana del Norte was the name given by the early Hannah Spanish Montana. explorers to the entire That's mountainous region of this. Western North America. It was proposed by the US government for the territory that ended up becoming Idaho, but then changed as they thought it had no meaning, only to be proposed in 1864, once again, for what is now Montana. There were some complaints, again, especially because it was somewhat misleading, since Montana itself is not that mountainous, and the name of Shoshone, a native tribe, was proposed. But the committee of territories ignored it and stuck with Montana. North and South Dakota have the same Dakota. name minus the geographic indicator, named Dakota. after the Dakota CU Native American tribes. And Dakota is actually also a word in the language of these people, literally meaning allies or friends. Oh, friends. Nebraska's name comes from the native Shiwer, specifically the word Nebraska. Nebraska, which literally means flattened water. It was first chosen as the name for Why the Nebraska so River and water. then for Everywhere the territory flat water, and state. I have to be honest, flat I was water, not aware so many states had a native origin in their names. Kansas is named after the Kansas River, Kansas. which in turn oh. was named after the Kansas Native Americans who lived along its banks. The tribe's name is often said to mean people of the south wind, although this was probably Probably not the term's original meaning. In 1827, the Kansas Territory was established, choosing this name for that reason. Arkansas has a very similar name, Arkansas. just adding a prefix to the word, and I'm the hearing origin these is names also the first similar. Time. The name Arkansas initially applied to the Arkansas River. It derives from a French term, a plural for their transliteration of Akanza, an Algonquin <laughs> term for the Kapow people. Akanza is likely also the root term for Kanza, which then led to the Kansas name. Oklahoma is the putting together of two Choctaw words, Okla and Homa. In Choctaw, Okla, Okla means Homa. tribe or nation, and Homa ah, means red, nation, red. Yeah. so Easy. red nation. Although a rough translation could also be Indian, Indian territory. territory. Indian Moving Indian on Indian to Indian the Indian biggest Indian state of the continental 48, Texas. 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 Texas's Texas. main origin is in the word Taisha, Taisha. which Taisha. means friend in the native Caddo language. Oddly enough, there Taisha is, is a very common name in India. In the 18th wow. century, the area was briefly known Taisha. as New Philippines, given that the Asian country was at the time also yeah. a Spanish colony. How weird would it be if that had stuck around and Texas was similarly to New York or New Jersey, now called New Philippines. Louisiana oh. is again very straightforward, as was evident on the thumbnail of the video. Louisiana. It was named after Louis XIV, King of France from 1643 to 1715, when René Robert Cavalier claimed the territory for France. He named it La Louisiane. So roughly, Louis plus Yan carries the idea of related to Louis or land of Louis. Oh. Once part of the French colonial empire, the Louisiana territory stretched from the Atlantic coast in the south to just north of the present day Everything Canada border. Was the territory was sold by the French to the United States in 1803 for 15 million dollars. 15 That's million four dollars? cents an acre. This would be equivalent oh. to around 300 million dollars in today's money. Still a pretty cheap price for yeah, something that is equivalent to almost a third of the U.S.'s territory. Mississippi oh. follows the trend of being named new, after the local that river, will Mississippi, become the which power. defines its western boundary. <laughs> European settlers named it after the Oribwe word Mizizibi, which translates to Great River. The, the Missouri Great. River also led to the naming of the state of Missouri, and Missouri the river itself river. got its name from the indigenous Missouri natives. Nice. Following that method, we saw was common at the start of the video, native tribe, river, colonial territory, hmm. and state. It is said that these specific natives were called called the Wimi Sorita, meaning those who have dug out canoes. Ooh. The name was adapted and westernized according to how they pronounced it. Moving on to Iowa. Iowa derives Iowa. its name from the 
Iowa people, one of Iowa. the many Native American nations whose territory was within the future state at the time of European colonization. Minnesota comes from the Native Dakota designation for the Minnesota River, which got its name from one of two you know, words in, in India, Dakota. Sota means Minnesota, a small bat. which means clear blue water, so Minnesota or is a small Minnesota, bat. which means cloudy water. Kind of an odd choice of words considering they sound so similar but mean pretty much the cloudy exact water. opposite. It is said Dakota people demonstrated the name to early settlers. Rivers had a very big milk impact on water people and calling back it then. Minnesota, which would mean the cloudy meaning would be the right one. Next, Wisconsin. The word Wisconsin, Wisconsin originates from the name given to the Wisconsin River by one of the Algonquin speaking tribes. French explorer Jacques Marquette was the first European to reach the Wisconsin River, arriving in 1673 and calling the river Meskousing. Subsequent French writers changed the spelling to Wisconsin, and over time this became the name for both the river Those and the surrounding Those men were so lands. important, and they said something and now everybody's English. following when it. When it comes to Illinois, the state is named for the French adaptation Illinois. of a native word, Ilen Wiwa, which means Wiwa. speak normally. This Speaks adaptation normally. was made by early French Catholic missionaries and explorers who referred to the local natives as such. Eventually the state was named after that tribe. Michigan <laughs> has a similar they story, said, a native okay, name people speak adapted normally. and rephrased <laughs> into French. However, this one didn't refer to large the local lake. population. It was just a term they used to define large water or large lake. Meshigami in the Oibue language. Let's jump to the northeast and go along the coast for the other ones, starting with Maine. The origin Maine. of the name Maine is unclear. One theory is that it was named after the French province of Maine. Another is that it derives from a practical nautical term, the mainland. And a more recent proposal is that it was named after the English village of Broad Maine, which Broad was the family estate of Sir Ferdinando Gorges, the colony's founder. A combination of the last two seems to be the most likely. New Hampshire was named by English Captain John Mason, who had gotten a land patent to establish a colony in the area. After doing so, he named it New Hampshire after the county of Hampshire in England. Such Vermont's a simple name man. comes from the combination of two French Doing words, things. Vert and Mont. Green Mountain. Vert well, in mount. French means well, green mount. and Mount means mount or mountain, likely because of the green mountains that characterize oh. the state. In fact, the short-lived independent Vermont Republic used as its ensign the Green Mountain Boys flag. Massachusetts takes us back into native Mass origins. The Massachusetts Bay Colony was named after the indigenous population, whose name likely came from a native word, Nisswak Shasut. I'm really sorry I'm mispronouncing all of these, but I just couldn't find the proper pronunciation. And this term directly translates to it's Big tough. Mountain. Moving on to Rhode Island, despite its name, most of Rhode Island is located on the mainland of the United States. Prior to 2020, the state's official name was State of Rhode Island and Providence Plantations, which was created after the merger of four colonial settlements. In 2020, they finally got rid of the plantations part because of the negative historical connotation, and if nothing else, because it's not a plantation anymore. It's not certain where the original name of Rhode Island came from, but two historical origins are presented as possibilities. One comes from explorer Giovanni Giovanni da Verrazzano, who thought an offshore island Ooh, of the lame. region resembled the island of Rhodes off the coast of Greece, and the other has to do with a Dutch explorer, Adrian Bloch, who described it as Adrian an island Bloch. of reddish appearance, which was Hodlik Island in 17th century Dutch. Hodlik. This would have then been adapted into Rhode Island in English. Connecticut is once again of native origin. Kinitukut was an eastern Algonquin word, which meant land on the long tidal river. New Jersey follows New Hampshire's example and is named after Jersey, the largest of the British Channel Islands, and the birthplace of one of the colony's two co-founders, Sir George de Carteret. However, the state was initially created under the name of New Caesaria because the Roman name of the original Jersey was thought to have been this during the times of the Roman Empire. And New York continues this trend, being named after New the York. then Duke of York, later King James II of England, so both after the English town and it's Duke. Next to it is Pennsylvania, an English writer founded a province Pennsylvania. of Pennsylvania as an English colony. In honor of his father and probably his family in general, he named it Pennsylvania, combining their name, Penn, Penn. and the Latin term, Sylvania, which translates as woodlands. Woodland. Delaware gets oh. its name from the Delaware River. The river itself was named after Lord Delaware, who was the first governor general of the colony of Virginia. And Maryland, named by George Calvert, the first baron of Baltimore, after Queen Henrietta Maria, wife of King Charles I of England. Although some Catholic scholars believe the baron named the province after Mary, 
the mother of Jesus. Virginia was the first British colony in continental North America. Its name at the time meant country of the virgin, after uh, Elizabeth I of England, who was known as the Virgin Queen because oh. she never married. West Virginia oh. obviously virgin has queen. the same origin, with oh. the West referring to their possession over the Western territories of the formerly larger Virginia state upon separation. Ohio gets its name from a Seneca native word, Ohio, Ohio meaning large creek, <laughs> originally the name of both the Ohio and Allegheny rivers. Indiana's name is very simple and means the land of Indians or simply Indian land. When in 1800, the United Indiana. States Congress passed legislation to divide the Northwest Territory into two areas, it named the Western section the Indiana Territory, perhaps to differentiate it from the East where further colonization by Europeans had taken okay. place. Moving to Kentucky, in 1776, Virginia's colony included Indiana. most of England's claims in North America, and the counties beyond the Kentucky. Appalachian Mountains became known to Europeans as Kentucky County, named for the Kentucky River. The origin of the name is uncertain, but probably based on an Iroquois Qua Something name like that. meaning on the meadow. In the two native languages of Mohawk or Seneca, it was said as Kentake or Gedake, respectively. Others Gedake. have suggested the term Kenta Aki, which could have come from an Algonquin language. Tennessee's name comes from the local Cherokee too, which had a village called Tanazi, located on a river with the same name. The meaning of this name is unknown, although some accounts suggest it meant something like meeting place. Mm. Moving to the Carolinas, North and South Carolina were one colony, Carolina until 1729. By 1663, King Charles II of England granted a charter to start a new colony on the North American continent, and apparently he ordered it to be named Carolina in honor of his father, Charles I. Alabama was named Fathers after the Alabama Bogart. River, which in turn was named by the Europeans due to the native Alabama, Alabama tribe. In the native language, the word for a person of this specific native lineage is Alabama. also Albamo. Georgia was named after British King George II. It is the feminine Latin form Colonial of rule and also rivers. a reference to Saint Flat George, rivers. whose name was derived important. from the Greek word Georgos, meaning farmer from Ge, which is earth, and Ergon, which is work. And finally, Florida was named by Florida. the Spanish in 1514 from the Spanish term Florida, often referring to a place's Flower abundance river. of flowers. The state's name specifically is a shortening of La Florida, the flowery one, or Pascua Florida, flowery Easter, although then just being simplified to Florida. It is the oldest surviving European given place name in the US. The United States also have some territories and a federal district. Very quickly, the name origins of those are in Washington DC or District of Columbia. The name comes from Christopher Columbus, the famous European navigator. American Samoa is composed of two parts, Sa meaning sacred and Moa meaning center. So the name can mean Sa holy Moa. center. Okay. Alternately, it can this also mean place name. of the sacred Moa bird of Polynesian mythology. Guam comes from the local Chamorro wow. language, specifically the word Guahan meaning what we have, what designation we? for the island first used okay, so this is what we have Guam 1898 the northern Mariana Islands were named by Spain in 1667 after Queen, Queen Mariana, Mariana of Austria. Wow. Puerto Rico so comes wavy. from the name the Spanish gave to the island in 1493 meaning rich port oddly enough the island was originally named San Juan Batista after Saint John and the capital city was named Puerto Rico but eventually mm. they switched the two the island became Puerto Rico and the capital San Juan the US Virgin Islands were also named in 1493 Las Virgenes, the name Christopher Columbus gave to them upon European discovery. And finally, oh. the many U.S. outlying islands have various origins. Baker Island and Wake Island, the Johnston Atoll and Kingman Reef were named after sea captains. Jarvis Island was named after three people, all named Jarvis, who discovered the island apparently. Midway Atoll was all named the three for its were location being <laughs> approximately halfway between North America and Asia. Howland Island was named after a whaling ship. And the Palmyra Atoll was also named after the locally shipwrecked. USS Palmyra, while Navassa Island comes from the Spanish term Nava, meaning plain, since the island is very flat. Wow, what our video it was. Seriously, this video was so informative for us and we got to know that mostly states uh, names were after the uh, after some you know great people and after uh, a river and after some islands like and there were and some uh, states also have name uh, uh, some also have name the for example the state who has a lot of mountains they named it as mountain and on they they thought that this state has uh, long mountains 
so we should name this state as uh, so we so definitely the name of this state should be long so that that's the reason they name this state uh, state as montana i am i am unable to pronounce it because it's so tough and yes we also got to know that the meaning of the texas is friend and we also got to know that the meaning of the hawaii is uh, hawaii uh, basically the meaning of the hawaii uh, is uh by the name of the god uh, like the uh, hawaii has the name after the god and there and we also got to know that there are uh, there is also state in uh, america which name which uh, uh, which meaning is the state of the virgin so that was so shocking for me like dude what is this and we also got to know that there is also some place that uh, which means the land of the indians so yeah this video was so informative and yeah i really enjoyed it and most of the names i see are based on like if we see on the you know on the west coast so on on the west coast it is normally like all the names are because of the colonial powers because they came uh, via the ship to that place and there they were like new hampshire new york so they just name whatever they thought the mm. the previous name or either their father's name or something similar to that and when you go like uh, into the mainland or in the center of america so then there are there were these guys were so impressed by rivers because everybody is like flat river cloudy river very flat <laughs> river flat flat river so everybody named in a similar way and on the east coast you see california and all those two had the same thing that okay when the spanish people came in so they named something similarly so on the east and west coast it is because of the colonial power and center is because of the rivers the mountains and i think the so, rivers and mountains always deserve to be named uh, the, the state deserves to name th them like name the name their whole state after them because those are the main beauty of the whole state so yeah but these names are are very very interesting some you get idaho utah and something and some you get massachusetts and minnesota so difficult pronunciation pronunciation names are also there so which is your favorite state and where do you live in do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.